Hi, I'm Brian of WV Gamers. Today I'm going to be doing a video I didn't actually think I was going to get the opportunity to do. Um, but luckily an item I was ha having to have my eyes on finally came back in stock on the Unify uh, Early Access page. So we're going to take a look at that product. But first, let's talk about in general what we're going to be looking at. So this is continuing the whole upgrading my rack line of videos. But uh, one of the base pieces of you know any kind of rack but with a lot of network in it is power obviously you're gonna have to have a lot of power to run all the different devices that's inside of your rack outside of you know your network cables and keeping everything cool the basic principle is you need power now you can use a surge protector any basic device to uh, provide power into the rack but if you want something a little neater that's where PDUs are going to generally come in they come in different shapes and sizes and functionality but at its core a PDU a power distribution unit is essentially just a, a glorified uh, search protector many of them are basically just that that's what I had in my rack up until well here last hour or so this was what I had, and this was just basically something that was saved from a rack that uh, my uh, dad and stepmom happened to come across um, from someone they knew. And basically all this is, is a switch, you know, search protector, you'll see that. It has your little breaker in there. And then it has six standard outlet plugs on the back. And honestly, for the most part, this is all you need. The problem I've been running into is I have a lot of square shaped boxes for the modem. Uh, my fans, I think, have a square box. There's only six ports on here. I think I have like eight devices in the rack that needs power, maybe a few more. Um, so this just wasn't working well for me anymore. And Unify had hinted at a PDU that they were releasing that was uh, going to be in early access, which the early access, which you'll not even see this video until after the early access uh, has been lifted uh, because of rules. Um, but basically it allows pl people who want to be in that early group to test the device. You're still paying for it. I still bought this and everything, but it'll get you early access to the model and hopefully it'll eventually become a full scale release. Not all devices will, but hopefully in this case it will because, you know, I spent a decent bit of money on it. But this is their solution to the power uh, PDU that I basically just showed you. This is their smart PDU. Now this has quite a bit more than just six outlets, which is why I was really interested in it. The You'll see that it has a strip of, what is that, 12? Yeah, tw yeah, 12 uh, standard outlets here. It has four of your uh, yeah, same same outlets, but they're in better access. So hopefully you'll be able to put some more of your square uh, powered uh, bricks there. You also have four USB-C chargers on this side. And then you have some network ports over here. Your small screen that uh, Unify is pretty well known for over there. And then on the back, pretty clean. It just has another ethernet port here. And then your power cable coming out the back. Now, what's really neat about this is it is definitely a lot more than just providing power. This is a smart device, of course, and you'll be able to manually turn on and off each of the different ports on here. Now, I have not been able to put this in. I wanted to uh, kind of do this video first before I had to put, uh, you know, take that old one out, put this in, because I don't want to have to pull this back out. So. I'm certainly not gonna have all the answers on what this device can do until a future video, but I would just the basic re basically reading through the documentation, looking over the device, it's pretty basic what it's gonna do. You basically have your smart switches, which you know we have a lot of those uh, nowadays. You can get cheap ones at Walmart that go over Wi-Fi uh, for one or two ports on those. Uh, you have your standard uh, USB-C charging. The reason that that's kind of important because there are some power over ethernet devices, which I talked about in a previous video, uh, that go through, um, uh, you can either do PoE via your ethernet, or you can use uh, USB-C power. And sometimes you can inject power into your, um, into your uh, PoE devices via USB-C. Um, 
I don't have a whole lot of those devices, so I can't talk to that, but there's some interesting use cases for having these USB-C ports on here. I kind of would have liked to have seen at least maybe two of the standard USB uh, ports on there, because there are some things in my rack, just like lighting, nothing too important, that I would like to plug in here. I'm gonna have to use an adapter to do that now, but otherwise, um, I've also talked about a, uh, a network monitoring smart plug that I bought when I bought my first batch of equipment from Unify. And basically that will uh, detect if there is a internet outage on your modem. And if there is, it'll restart. Well, I'm gonna be able to replace that little uh, device with this because this has the same capability by running your ethernet into this PDU, it'll be able to detect if there is a, a known or if, if there is an outage that it will then restart that specific port on here. Now, how that's going to work, I don't know yet, but I imagine if it's anything like the um, little uh, smart plug, it's probably going to be pretty seamless. So I'm pretty excited to see how that works. So the 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 network ports on here. Not entirely sure everything, the, the, the purpose of uh, what they are here, but my guess is it's for network redundancy. So uh, there's probably a way of wiring up everything that um, possibly if you have two internet connections coming in, that this can help distribute that in the event that one's down. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm curious to uh, kind of look into this and see what all those network ports are gonna do other than connecting it to the other Unify devices to allow communication and management and whatnot. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what that's gonna be, but there isn't a whole lot to talk about beyond that. It is definitely not your little dummy surge protector or PDU. Seems like a pretty, pretty solid little product, so. I am looking forward to getting this in. The only other things that came with this one, this is because this is a early access unit, uh, I should say, because it's early access, the version that comes out eventually may be different. It may have more stuff, it may have less stuff. I don't know, but that's the little disclaimer. Um, it has your little rack ears, so you can hook it up. This is a 2U device, so it takes up two spaces in your rack. So there's the little ears, and then it's going to give you your cage nuts and screw to go with that. So be able to put those in. And then if you wanted to put it mounted uh, without being in a rack, you have the little uh, rubber feet. But uh, that's pretty much everything that comes with it. There's not a whole lot to speak about with these. Um, I'm just really excited because I've been wanting to replace this uh, PDU that I've had for a while now. It works great and trust me, it's going to get use elsewhere. Um, but I'm pretty excited to have something that's a little more, uh, has a little more power options for me, for my rack. But uh, yeah, like I said, what the final product's gonna look like, I don't know. You won't even see this video until the final product is available, if it ever becomes available. But again, I wanted to show off what it was during the early access period and before it goes into my rack and never comes out again until I switch racks. So uh, thank you all for uh, checking this out and have a great night.